welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I am filming from San Francisco and we're sending it out a little early this week just because we want you to get it in advance of the three-day weekend coming up for Memorial Day. We figure a lot of people will be going out of town early and checking out and so forth. And so just to kind of give you the recap from this week and where we are, earnings season from our vantage point has kind of ended. It was a long and really interesting earnings season from all the Q1 results that got reported throughout this first half of Q2. And now we're in that kind of lull that takes place every quarter where there's sort of another month that goes by um, before there's new earnings results and quarterly announcements from portfolio companies and the market takes its P's and Q's from something different. Uh, it, it traditionally still has regular market volatility in this period, but it's not so much company driven, but more maybe macro. Certainly over the years, there's often times where the Fed and monetary events could be driving things. The geopolitical is always a potential catalyst, but not so much specific things happening from our individual companies. Uh, other than maybe merger announcements or, you know, uh, things of that nature. So we expect that there won't be any major catalytic events for markets uh, over the next month or so. But then we're going to get into uh, Q2 earnings results in the beginning part of July. Um, and, and who knows kind of where that will, will be. I can tell you, though, what the market will want to see is did revenue growth continue? Are these earnings growth expectations that are very clearly baked into market prices and market valuations um, staying on that trajectory? Are they sustainable and things like that? The reason I'm up in San Francisco right now, I've been in uh, partner meetings here with the Hightower community. As you know, the Bonson Group is affiliated with Hightower Advisors. They provide a lot of our back office, middle office services, serving as that legal fiduciary framework that is just so core to what we do had some outstanding meetings and idea sharing among some of the top uh, advisor teams in the entire country. And uh, most of these guys and gals have become very good friends of ours and really outstanding professionals. And it's always a pleasure to be up here. Um, but in terms of where the market is right now, our, our thought this week that we want to leave you with has to do with this uh, Goldilocks economy, so to speak. I hate using cliches that other pundits and analysts may be using, but the reality is that this data I've been studying this week is so crystal clear that you have an economy that is really not too hot and not too cold. The GDP number from Q1 was low enough that no one can feel overly ebullient or optimistic about where things are going, but there's really no data that causes anyone to be overly pessimistic. Manufacturing is growing, industrial production is growing, CapEx is extremely coiled up and there's a lot of pent up demand that can come out in terms of companies' ability to invest in the capital expenditures. So we suspect that the economy is moving along at an acceptable pace, one that warrants a higher interest rate than we have, but not one that is, is excessively growing where there's widespread fears about inflation or things of that nature. But then that a little accelerant gets put on the present economic trajectory, something more stimulative on the fiscal front. Um, yes, infrastructure could very well prove to be a part of that, although as non-Keynesians and um, not really very optimistic about what infrastructure could mean to inf interest rates if it's a lot of deficit borrowing, that's not the theme we get too excited about. But more on the tax reform side, we, we do believe that that will get done through time. There's some political complexity around that, but that, that will itself be an accelerant to GDP economic growth. You combine that with a little bit better of a landscape for global economic conditions, um, and overall it's, it's a pretty justifiable paradigm for how people feel about markets right now. Interest rates have stayed low, and certainly we continue to watch bond market risk for that reason. So I think that the economy is doing what most people think it's doing, which is moving forward, but not at a ridiculous pace. And, and we don't see any recessionary risks in the immediate future at all. That could definitely change. Right now, though, the data isn't pointing to it. 
So we wait for the next earnings season. We obviously have to keep our eyes on the geopolitical. We actually have had a reasonably non-dramatic week so far as of filming time in the U.S. political front. And, and that's our take on things in the short term. So we'll leave you there. Uh, thanks for listening to Dividend Cafe. Please do uh, check out DividendCafe.com because there is a full report this week that has a lot of other charts. We explore some other areas you may be interested in. We'd love for you to, to pick that up as well and then go enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. I'll close you with an extremely somber and sincere, heartfelt uh, expression of sorrow for the tragic and disgusting events in Manchester, UK this week. And we do thank God for our men and women in the service that we recognize here on Memorial Day weekend. Thanks for listening to Dividend Cafe.